Hi, this is Scott from PimpMyPS3.com here with another instructional video for you. This video is going to cover how to remove your PS3 cover so you can get inside and work on it. And here are the tools necessary. First, you're going to need a container. This is just to keep your screws organized. Second thing you're going to need is a knife. Either an X-Acto knife or a regular kitchen knife will do. This is just to remove the sticker that hides the screw that you're going to have to take out third tool you're going to need is a number 10 safety torx screw driver. This is to take out the security torx that's hidden behind the sticker that we just talked about. And the fourth tool we're going to need is either a pair of tweezers or a magnet. This is just to take out the screws that are hidden inside the cover. When you unscrew them you can't access them with your finger. And the fifth tool you're going to need is a screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver. Uh, this is an electric screwdriver, but you don't need an electric screwdriver. Regular screwdriver will do. Okay, today we're going to be disassembling a 40 gigabyte PS3. You can tell it's a 40 gigabyte non-backwards compatible system because it only has the two USB ports. We're going to be removing the security tamper-proof sticker which is on the bottom of the PlayStation if you stand it up. What I like to do is go right above the little nub and just pry out a little bit to get the sticker coming back. And as the sticker comes back, I stick the knife right behind the sticker and peel the sticker off. And after the sticker is off, you just pull this little rubber nub out. It's actually the foot for when it stands on the bottom. And now comes the secure, number 10 security torque screwdriver. There's one screw that holds the cover on, and it's right underneath that foot that I just pulled out. You take that screw out like so. Now you slide the cover down towards the screw you just pulled out, and you lift the cover up. And it comes right off, reveals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Phillips screws. That's Con my parrot, you can hear squawking in the background. Con, do you want to say hi today? You say hello to the people out in YouTube land and visiting our website? Hello. Good boy. This is where the magnet comes in handy, or the tweezers, whichever you prefer to use. If you don't have a magnet, that's fine. Just pulls them out like so. Keep all your screws and everything nice and neat in your little cup or bucket, whatever you prefer to use. And you're going to turn the system so it's facing towards you. There's four little notches in the back of the system. You can see them here. You're going to take your two index fingers and you're going to pull towards you and lift the back of the PlayStation up and it opens up like so. Now, if you had a backwards compatible system, you would not be able to pull the cover off like this. There's actually a ribbon cable that goes to the media card. We'll cover that later in another video for backwards compatible systems only disassembly. Okay, now we have the PlayStation open and we can remove the Blu-ray drive. That just unplugs from the motherboard like so. You lift it up. There's a little clip underneath. I don't know if you can see that in the camera right here. Okay, you lift that up with your finger and the ribbon cable will just slide right out of it. It's a little tiny latch right there, like this. Okay. Alright, now we have the PS3 fully disassembled and that will be the end of this instructional video. Later on we'll cover how to remove the motherboard. This is the guy who's been squawking throughout my videos. Yeah, you've been yelling because I wasn't in the room with you. Yeah. Can you hello. say hello? <gasps> oh, what a good boy. Say hello to the people out there. Say hello. Visit Pimp My PS3. Say it. Oh, what a good boy. He likes PS3s, huh? You want to come down? Good boy. Get down. <gasps> You see yourself in that nice shiny PS3? Yeah, you like PlayStation 3s, huh? They're shiny. Yeah.